one of the best things that we've added to our Winnebago 2455 BHS is our bike rack from Arvika. We got this bike rack because it was the only one that I've been able to locate that could hold four bikes all on the front tongue of the camper and in a way that was up and above the truck. We tow with a Ford F250 and this rack works perfectly up above the bed and as you can see also works above our propane tanks. So Arvika is a company that's based out of Canada. They were great to work with. Arvika.ca is their website. This unit is the 7004. It also has a couple of accessory pieces. These arms that hold it on are called the 7000 and we also got a hitch that goes into the truck and allows us to move this unit over to the truck as well and we'll put all those details down below so that you can link over to their website and see exactly the parts and pieces. My recommendation though would be to reach out to them. I sent them pictures of our rig, let them know exactly what we wanted to do and they were able to get back to me within just a day or two with a list of what they suggested that we use. So a few of the features of this Arvika 7004, uh, first of all is these arms that rest on the A-arms of any trailer. Very impressive, they've made these universally adaptable. So you put this bracket on your actual A-arm, and as you can see, this part does not move. Then your, your next pole in there is what actually has a swivel to it. And there's a little bend here. That allows this to work whether you've installed it four inches behind where I have, two inches in front, or anywhere in between. You can rotate that to make this work for your unit. I mentioned this is the 7004. If you got the 7001, that would just have one bike rail on it. 7002, two bike rails, three, and the four is the fourth bike. If you buy the 7003 or the 7004, then you need to have these support arms. They can help you with these details at arvika.ca as well, but these go from the front down to your powered winch or your unpowered winch, and they just clamp on the bottom. Again, completely adjustable so that you can use these on virtually any unit. In the design of the 7004, the engineers have built in a way to access your propane tanks or anything else that you may have underneath your rack. Simply you remove the nuts or knobs that you have holding these two carriage bolts on and then you can fold this lower arm of your rack up 90 degrees and that will give you access to your propane tanks. So I made one adjustment to my 7004 Arvika rack after I installed it. And my reason for this was twofold. Number one, I wanted to make sure that this would not be in jeopardy of hitting my truck bed at any point in time at any angle. I also wanted to make an adjustment that would allow me to remove my black propane tank cover without doing that fold up because we often have three bikes on here or four bikes on here and to have to access that on the road would be a little bit time consuming. I'll show you what I did. When they shipped this they had included these knobs in a threaded cert for this tube in four spots around this rack. So there was a threaded knob here, back here, and the same on the other side. What I decided to go ahead and do was to drill all the way through and install permanent nuts and bolts with nylock nuts on there in all four of those spots, and I raised it 2.25 inches, allowing this height to be just slightly higher than it was factory made, and that would give it permanent clearance above my truck bed, and also give me exactly what I need to get this black cover off my propane tanks without removing the bikes. So we travel with four bikes, three full size and one kid's bike, and the strategy for how to put those on your rack is definitely the most important step. You need to figure out which frames are taller than the others and which are going to work in front of the neck so that your lockdown arms will successfully grab each bike along the way. For ours, we start with the littlest in the back and then we move across the front three and I'll show you how we do it. I've found it easiest to load from the left side and get the front tire in the track 
and then guide each bike over into position. Different things on each bike are going to get in your way. This bike has the training wheels, the pedals, and these large bars. Once you've got each bike loaded, each spot has a clamp that goes over the bar and grabs the top of the frame. Then you just tighten down the knob that's on each one until you have a really firm grasp of the bike. Arvika sends these tire tie downs enough for each wheel. You wanna go over the wheel, grasp it, and then tuck it back in. So now I've got my back bike loaded. I have three more to go, and I've got my clamp bars here. At this point, you wanna fold these up and over the top, because if you don't, they'll get tangled up in your bike as you start to load the front ones. Again, this back bike bar is the fourth bar in the series. If you were to buy the three, the two, or the one, you would only be working with these front bars. So I've found the best strategy for all the bikes is to alternate the front to the back. So if you have the first bike in with the front facing to the driver's side, you would put your next bike in with the front facing to the passenger side. All right, I've got a second one up here. You take your shortest clamp and it naturally grabs at the closest spot. A couple of tire tie downs and that one's all set. This bike goes up next for us because it has a lower frame. That allows that last bar to come over the top, grab the front bike and be good to go. they've put a lock on this last knob. And that means that as long as your last bike is in and you've locked the key, there's almost no way anybody could get to any of your bikes because this one is the kingpin to all the rest of them. So as you can see, it's pretty manageable to load. With a ladder, you can do it by yourself. Without a ladder, you definitely want a little bit of help. We've really enjoyed having this bike rack. We've had it over a thousand miles on the road now. We haven't had any problems whatsoever. We weren't sponsored or given anything by Arvika. We just really appreciate the quality and the engineering in this rack. And so we wanted to share it with everybody so that if it's a good fit for you, you know a little more detail about it. They do have this same rack in silver and white as well as the black model that we chose. And like I mentioned before, they've got a lot of other accessories like the hitch mount and other things that you can do with their rack systems to make a unit that really works well for your system. I hope you enjoyed our video. Thanks for checking it out. Thank you.